Trading in the verse has always been a rather risky profession, but a truly wonderful and noble one. Without it, every system and even planet would be left alone to fend for themselves. Join us today as we document one trader's journey across the Stanton system as they brave the vast unknowns to deliver their cargo. Our journey begins on the beautiful city planet of Arkor. This planet is entirely made up of buildings, making it one of the most impressive places to visit in the verse. In particular, Area 18 is the most popular commercial hub thanks to its interplanetary space. Though most traders would find themselves going to the Trade and Development Center, we find our trader making their way instead to the administration building. The process of acquiring any cargo is quite simple. Simply go to one of these trading consoles and let the officials take care of the rest. The tram system takes our trader back to the spaceport where he can be reunited with his vessel once more. As we near the spaceport, we begin to feel the vibrant atmosphere of the city. Seeing the majesty of the city really does make it feel like the trading capital of Stanton. The Caterpillar is one of the best trading vessels available in the verse today. Its rather spacious interior has bunks for up to four crew members, but the camera crew will be taking up the main habitation for today. The rest of the ship is dedicated to massive modules that will be carrying our cargo. We took this footage before the ship was filled up to give you a sense of its massive capacity. As we gain ATC clearance to take off, we slowly lift off into the heavens and plunge ourselves towards the unknown.
the engineer readies the quantum drive as we cruise through the atmosphere. Our journey takes a sudden turn as we are pulled out of quantum by pirates. A crew member who did not want to be filmed immediately races to one of the two massive turrets in order to protect the precious cargo aboard. Cannons roar into action and begin shredding the attackers while the engineers attempt to fix the damaged engines. As the lead ship explodes in a brilliant display of light, we all breathe a sigh of relief. The captain takes us out of the asteroid field and begins to prepare the jump drive. We make a stop at a beautiful Regrange station near Hurston to repair our ship and get some rest after the battle that we just endured.
With us safely away from the more dangerous parts of the verse, we can now relax as we blast towards our final destination. As the loud booming of the quantum drive fills our quarters, we are all given a view of the amazing snow-covered planet of Microtech. Even from a distance, we can see the fireworks bursting in the sky in celebration of the UEE Navy. A fitting welcome for our hero after such an arduous trip across the system. Once we land safely at New Babbage Interstellar Spaceport, we make our way to yet another surface transport to get us to the administration building. Our trader, however, first stops to treat himself with some ice cream. With the commodities sold, our journey comes to a close. It's only fitting that we leave our trader at the gorgeous Wally's Bar to celebrate his earnings and a job well done. The universe truly is beautiful. Majestic. But also dangerous. Humanity is a species of adventurers, and our place is truly in the stars. Thank you for joining me today on this adventure into the Stanton system. Journey on, citizens. <laughs>